Welcome preschool families, it's G from Butterfly Garden and today we're going to be reading a story about rocks. It's called Rocks Hard, Soft, Smooth, and Rough. And the story is written by Natalie Rosinski and illustrated by Matthew John. See the rock at your feet? Pick it up. Hold it in your hands. Is it smooth? and sparkly? Is it soft and sandy? Is it marked with the shape of a shell? Look closely at your rock and you can learn its story. A lot of things can happen to rocks. They can crack, they can break into a million tiny pieces, they can be pressed or squeezed together. Rocks can even melt. Pools of hot, melted rock hide deep inside the earth. Did you know that the ground underneath oceans, fields, beaches, and forests is made out of rock? You might see specks or larger stripes of different colors in your rock. These specks and stripes are different kinds of minerals. Minerals are the basic building blocks of rocks. Rubies and diamonds are minerals. People carve them into gems that sparkle in necklaces and rings. Check out your parents' jewelry and see if you can find some minerals. Did you know that diamonds are the hardest natural thing in the world? Diamonds are so strong that they can even cut through steel. Now let's talk about igneous rocks. Can you guys say that word? Igneous rocks. Rocks form in three ways. In the first way, melted rock bubbles up from inside the earth. Then it cools down and becomes hard igneous rock. If your rock looks like black glass, it may be obsidian. Obsidian is an igneous rock that bubbled up from inside the earth and cooled off above ground. Rough freckled granite is an igneous rock that cooled underground. Did you know that a long time ago the native people that first lived here in the United States used obsidian and carved it into sharp knives and arrowheads? Next type of rock is called sedimentary rock. Rocks also form when sand and other natural things are squeezed together until they turn hard. This second kind of rock is called sedimentary rock. These rocks are a little softer than igneous rocks. Plants animal bodies, shells, sand, and chips of other rocks pile up on the bottom of oceans and rivers. This mixture is called sediment. As the mixture piles up, it gets heavy, and the sediment at the bottom gets squeezed together. It turns harder and harder until it is rock, sedimentary rock. This rock can take millions of years to form. If you ever have been to the Grand Canyon or you ever go to the Grand Canyon, you can see the different layers of sediment. And you may be able to see that if you go hiking or go to, into a cliff or canyon, you can see the different layers of sediment. Some layers are as tall as skyscrapers. If you see grains of crumbly sand in your rock, it might be sandstone. Dull and gritty, sandstone is a sedimentary rock made of sand, red, brown, green, or yellow. And Native Americans once lived in homes that were made out of sandstone. If you see squiggles and bumps from little shells and skeletons in your rock, it might be limestone. Limestone's another type of sedimentary rock, and it's made of shells from ocean animals that lived a long time ago. Today, people use limestone to make sidewalks and buildings. Some sedimentary rocks tell stories about the past, stories of forgotten forests and vanished seas. 
They tell tales of creatures that swam, slithered, or crept. Fossils are made from plants and animals that died thousands or millions of years ago. The plants and animals became buried in layers of sediment. Over time, they turned into stone. Scientists learn about dinosaurs by studying the fossils of bones, teeth, eggs, nests, and droppings. Each fossil is a clue for the scientist. For example, the shape of a dinosaur tooth can show whether a dinosaur used to eat meat or plants. The third type of rock is called metamorphic rock. It's made from other rocks. Heat and pressure inside the earth can change rocks from one kind to another. Metamorphic rock can come from igneous or sedimentary rock. After time, the heat and the pressure can even turn a metamorphic rock into a new metamorphic rock. If your rock is hard and full of colorful swirls, it might be marble. Marble is a metamorphic rock made from limestone that cooked inside the earth. Artists carve marble into statues that tell their own special stories. You may even have marble on your kitchen countertops. Rocks are all around you. Rocks lie at your feet or sit silently by the river's edge. Rocks make a giant cliff, a magnificent building, or a grand sculpture. Rocks hang around your neck or sparkle on your fingers. Look closely at them. What stories do these rocks tell? Well, I hope you will go out and do a little hunting for some rocks and try to figure out whether those rocks are metamorphic, igneous, or sedimentary rocks. And then send me a picture with your rocks and what kind of rocks you think you found in your backyard or on your nature walk. Also, I have a little craft project that you can make out of a rock. Find a nice, good size rock and you can paint it. Um, my daughter used um, acrylic paint and then you can cut a little piece of felt out and put little googly eyes and she made a little turtle, but you can make whatever you'd like with your rock. I can't wait to see your creative creations. Remember to email or text them to me. So remember to subscribe and like. Thank you.